Hello and welcome everybody to Follow Drive Time. In this video, I show you the diagram you find in the Gearhead datasheet explaining the output power and the graph with the mechanical dimensions. Here you have an overview of the two pages of a 32 GPT datasheet. At the end of the first page and on the second one, you have the diagram with the recommended areas for continuous operation mode, the graph with the mechanical dimension and all the possible combination with our motors and the list of the standard options. Let's, ta let's take now a closer look on the first diagram. In case you need to, to get the best lifetime from the product, you should plot into it your working point and check whether you are not exceeding the, max re the maximum recommended output power. So we have the output torque in the x-axis and then we have the output speed in the y-axis, both in a logarithmic scale and as a reference is also plotted the 50 watt straight line. Let's start with an example, a 32 GPT gearhead with two gear stages. A quick recall to the values of the continuous torque and speed given in the catalog. This is the limit of 3 newton meter of maximum continuous output torque. We have then to calculate the continuous output speed dividing the value of continuous input speed given in the catalog by the reduction ratio. We can take as example a 14 to 1 ratio. So we divide 10,000 RPM by 14 and we get around 750 RPM. We can now plot also this value inside the graph. Can I run this gearhead in continuous at this working point that is outside the recommended area? Theoretically, yes, but what will happen? The gearhead won't be able to dissipate the heat generated by the internal friction. The lubricant will dry, therefore the lifetime of the product will drop down. We do not recommend to, the, to run uh, the gearhead when, is outside, when the working point is outside this area. What should I do? You should, for example, or reducing the output speed to around 7 RPM, 17 RPM, or reducing the torque value to approximately 0.3 Newton meter or you can simply select another gearhead. Here plotted all the recommended areas for continuous operation for the four gear stages. Here plotted the recommended areas for intermittent operation where you can reach higher values of output torque and speed that should not exceed the 20% of the continuous duty cycle. Here, a full overview of the same diagram plotted in the gear datasheet. On the second page, you will find a drawing with all the mechanical dimensions of the gear assembled to a BX4 model. With those dimensions, you are able to check whether the combination selected fits in your available space. The length L2 of the gear without motor depends by the number of gear stages selected, in our example 31.8 mm. The overall length L1 of the combination depends both by the number of stages of the gearhead and by the motor assembly. In our example, if we take a 2642X CR model, the drive system will have a total length of 76.7 mm. You find then the list with all the possible standard combination. The 8 M3 threaded holes of the front flange are aligned with the cable or the contacts of the motor selected. In the drawing is shown the alignment of 0 plus minus 5 degrees between the upper threaded hole of the gearhead flange and the cable of a brushless model. Please pay, so, pay also attention to the max length of screw you can use. Screws that are longer than 5 mm may damage internal parts of the gearheads. Last basic information available in the datasheet is the list of existing semi-standard options, like different output shaft, different types of lubricant or different motor cable orientation. Maybe one or more of those options already suits with your needs. If not, you can always get in touch with us by email or using the chat function available on our website, or if you prefer, just calling us and we will assist you to find what you need. In this video, I've shown to you how to use the diagram of the output power. I've shown to you how to use the graph with the mechanical dimensions and which are the main uh, existing options. Thank you for watching this video. If you like, leave a comment down below. Take care and goodbye.